Heterosis is really important to me on this ranch. We really like the Beefmaster breed because it brings Boss Indicus influence into the breeding mix, into the, into the program to give us that additional benefit of heterosis from Boss Taurus and Boss Indicus cross. The uh, calves out of these Beefmaster cross females, we see a real boost just from the heterosis uh, aspect of it. Good, healthy, strong wieners in the fall is really important. Our Beefmaster sired calves usually out, well, they always outweigh everything else we raise, which is Charlay and the Red Angus. Um, usually 50 to 60 pounds, and they always make us anywhere from 20 to 60 dollars a head more that we put in our pocket, which that counts for me what goes in my pocket. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Today we're going to talk about Beefmaster cattle and hear from cattlemen who are utilizing Beefmaster genetics in their commercial cattle herds throughout the United States. The demand for Beefmaster cattle has increased over the years because Beefmasters are the best of both worlds. These cattle produce extremely fertile, functional, and docile females that the beef industry needs to rebuild America's cow herds while also producing profitable and efficient feeder calves that deliver results in today's marketplace. We've got a good show for you. We're glad you joined us, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. No storm is too powerful for New Purina wind and rain storm minerals, formulated with ultimate weather resistance. That means more minerals in the feeder and available to your cattle. Wind and rain storm minerals provide more consistent intake and balanced mineral nutrition to optimize herd health and breedback rates. See the difference at your local Purina dealer or visit CattleNutrition.com. Wind and rain storm minerals, another way Purina is building better cattle. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Beefmaster cattle work in all regions of the United States in different climates and environmental conditions from north, south, east, and west. They're found on ranches from California to Idaho to Colorado, as far north as Wisconsin, and throughout the southeast and the Gulf Coast states. Beginning in the early 1930s, Tom Lassiter, the breed's founder, developed beef masters from a systematic crossing of Hereford, Shorthorn, and cattle that were the foundation of the American Brahmin. His purpose was to develop cattle that were more productive than existing breeds, cattle that would produce and make money during economically hard times in the harsh environment of South Texas. The breed was developed on what has become known as the six essentials, weight, conformation, milk production, fertility, hardiness, and disposition. These essentials became the economic strength of beef masters and have made them favorites with those who depend on cattle for a living. Beef masters are the only beef breed specifically developed to excel in these important economic traits. Lorenzo Lassiter, BBU past president and grandson of breed founder Tom Lassiter, is a fourth generation beef master breeder. He resides in San Angelo, Texas, and has seen Beefmaster cattle evolve over the years firsthand. One of the things that makes the Beefmaster breed completely unique is they were developed purely using economic criteria that we know as the six essentials. And this philosophy evolved a little bit by accident. My grandfather came from a commercial background out of the Depression, but he saw quickly that the way to, to affect uh, the kind of change that was meaningful in cattle was using economic traits as opposed to any kind of uh, aesthetics, which is how most beef breeds develop. Most develop around an aesthetic like color or size or type. And so beef masters were, were developed uniquely only using these six essentials. And that resulted in cattle that I think are genetically quite different than a lot of, a lot of other breeds that are available. 
um, because those economically viable traits are, are imprinted in them. And these are all traits that are of importance to the commercial cattlemen, not, not to some other, other interest, but basically to, to producing beef in a, in a low-cost environment. Roaring Springs Ranch, headquartered in the high desert of southeastern Oregon, covers one and a half million acres and is in the business to sell boxed beef through the Country Natural Beef Program. So the ranch relies on Beefmaster cattle to provide a solid, well-rounded beef product all the way from the pasture to the plate. Stacy Davies has managed Roaring Springs Ranch for the past 18 years and is a progressive leader in the beef industry. He relies heavily on the Beefmaster female to raise a calf year after year in vast and harsh landscape of the high desert. The unique part of the high desert region of the United States is the big wide open spaces. Uh, grass plants are fairly far apart and a cow has really got to be able to cover country to make a living in this part of the, this part of the world. Uh, as you can see from this view, this ranch is big, it's big country, and we need cows that'll travel. Our cows graze year round on native bunch grass plants, uh, very limited to no hay or outside feed brought in. We use salt occasionally, we use a little protein supplement occasionally, but not, not a considerable amount of any supplemental feed. The Beefmaster really benefits our breeding program because it does that, it gives us cows that Number one will get pregnant, number two will have a live calf, and then raise that calf to a weaning weight that we can work with and make a yearling out of. One thing that's really important is good feet and legs. This country's pretty rocky, and if cattle don't have good feet and legs, they don't survive. And if they don't do well enough to breed and raise a calf, then they, then they get shipped off, and uh, we need cows that'll, that'll really thrive, not just survive. Longevity and fertility are the top traits that a cow-calf producer should take interest in when considering his bottom line. Tom Lasseter used to say, give me a calf or be cold. Beefmaster females have responded to years of selection pressure and continue to excel in consistently bringing forth a heavy weaning calf year after year. Johnny Horton of Quanah, Texas and his family have been ranching since 1888 and they demand a lot from their cattle that have to survive on little forage and rainfall. He has always been a fan of Beefmaster cattle and is pleased with the continued improvements in Beefmaster genetics such as higher conception rates, more weaned calves per cow and reduced replacement heifer development costs. We're in a low rainfall area uh, lots of mesquite, lots of prickly pear, short grass, primarily curly mesquite and buffalo. And uh, the thing that got us home to Beefmaster cows is how well they can survive on very little. We, uh, we feed cake, cottonseed cake. Uh, no hay in the pasture unless it's a snowstorm. And these old cows, they can just keep doing, doing well on very little. But for this area, uh, low rainfall, short grass, um, there's nothing, I've not run across a better cow. Located in Desdemona, Texas, Morris Greenhaw and his herd manager, E. Ray Smith, started using Beefmaster cattle in their commercial operation for their well-known gentle disposition and continued to be impressed year after year. We've had good luck breeding, breeding the Beefmasters. We like their dispositions. We, uh, uh, you know, this, this man here has been handling cattle a lot longer than I have for his working directly with them. And he's just kind of fallen in love with, with the way they handle, the ease of handling, and. And we'd, we'd been told that that was the way it was, and it, it proved to be that way. Beefmaster cattle are a solid foundation to vast numbers of commercial herds across the country. They're utilized for maternal crosses with Angus and Red Angus cattle, or used terminally with Charlay and other continental breeds. Beefmaster bulls are remarkably versatile. 
They bring adaptability, structural correctness, and reproductive efficiency. There is more to come. Stay with us. Lissy Beefmasters has been breeding high quality purebred cattle since 1972. The program is built on multi trait selection, creating proven outcrosses with performance and predictability. The Lissy program emphasizes performance through the use of technology. Ultrasound, DNA, and measured feed efficiency are the criteria that bring the best in Beefmaster for today's cattlemen. For the most feed efficient Beefmaster genetics, visit LissyBeefmasters.com. Don't miss their upcoming private treaty bull sell. Call Your Farms program is time tested. One of the most important things about how we develop our bulls is that they're tested in a big group so that we can identify those individuals that excel above the crowd. We know what goes out and works for the customer. Those customers come back every year to keep buying bulls because they work. Join Call Your Farms at their 2015 performance bull sale on November 21st in Brenham, Texas. STBBA is the oldest satellite association within the Beefmaster industry. The goal of the satellite is to assist members in the promotion and marketing of their cattle through the sponsorship of several prestigious sales throughout the year. Don't miss these upcoming sales from the South Texas Beefmasters Breeders Association. STBBA also provides an opportunity for both social and business contacts, meeting new breeders, and exchanging ideas in order to further involvement in the Beefmaster breed. For more information, visit them online at stbba.org. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Beefmaster bulls are valued for the maternal attributes of their female offspring that include early breed up, high calf survivability, and overall longevity in the cow herd. Beefmaster influence feeder calves are appreciated for efficiency of gain, fewer days on feed, and industry acceptable quality and cutability with high dressing percentages. Tom Jones co-owns and operates High Plains Feed Yard located in Montezuma, Kansas. This 52,000 head capacity feed yard commercially feeds hundreds of Beefmaster and Beefmaster cross cattle each year. Jones is constantly impressed with the feed to gain conversion of the Beefmaster bred cattle. I guess the most important thing as far as profitability goes for these, uh, for us or the people that own them is probably their uh, uh, feed to gain conversions. Uh, it's, uh, it's very typical to have a, 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 a feed to gain uh, conversion underneath six. In fact, we have one group of cattle out here that uh, uh, feeding history since 2009, uh, their average feed to gain conversion is 5.75. Um, so, uh, they, they convert in the top 30% of the cattle we have on feed. Uh, uh, the uh, cattle also, what I, like, what I like about them is we don't have much health problems with these cattle. Um, we typically pencil in a three quarter percent death loss and we're there or underneath on these cattle. They gain well, uh, and like I said, they convert well and uh, we're not afraid of putting the cattle in on a grid uh, either. Davies uses Beefmaster cattle because they not only produce superior females, but he also knows what to expect from them in the feed yard. Beefmaster cattle constantly convert feed and stay healthy. The Beefmaster cattle will gain a consistent three to three and a quarter pounds a day, uh, convert six pounds of feed or better, and the health of the cattle is exceptional. That's one thing that really makes a difference on profitability in the feedlot sector is health. This set of cattle, there was 600 steers that came off of California grass and there have been two out of 600 that have needed an antibiotic treatment because of sickness. We attribute some, a lot of that to the Beefmaster influence. Uh, the health of the cattle is a, a big deal. By picking up some hybrid vigor, we get uh, an additional efficiency out of the cattle that really benefits us at the feedlot phase. These cattle will go on to Sterling, Colorado where they'll finish and be harvested at 1250 to 1300 pounds. We expect 75% of them to be choice at that weight and we expect that the average yield grade will be a 2.7 or a 2.8. Just right for our branded beef program and what we need for the consumer. You, you hang a, a Beefmaster carcass on the rail and a, a, another breed on the rail and cut a T-bone off of that. Uh, uh, if they're finished the same, 
they're going to be, both be good beef. I am impressed and appreciate the work that our seed stock producers are doing in the, within the breed. Um, uh, they spend a, a tremendous amount of money to have bulls that are high performance bulls and make them available to commercial people like me. Steve Anderson is heir and president of Livestock Operations for Martin O'Connor Cattle Company based in Victoria, Texas. The ranch has a long family history in the commercial cattle business and appreciates the value of heavier beef master cross calves at weaning time. Steve also emphasizes the resulting beef master cross female keeps him using the breed. Beef master bulls add weight to my, weaning weight to my steers. They add pounds, and they also make it where I can have really good replacement females. And in South Texas, they're, they're, they're very hardy, they're tough, they do well. Uh, their disposition is a very big thing for me um, in that we can handle them. We, we can cross them with anything and, and really get a number one calf. We get number one calf prices for our calves. Nail Cattle Company of Palm Bay, Florida has been a family cow-calf operation for three generations. Ryan Martin has had very positive experiences using beef master bulls in the challenging location of their ranch. Night and day difference. Just, just from the bulls we had to the bulls we have now, no comparison. On this little bunch of cows right here, we, we weaned these calves out at about 450 weights was the average. This was the first year we brought, we brought beef master bulls and put them on here with the same cows, the exact same cows. They weaned out about 100, right out a little over 100 pounds heavier. Exact same time, exact same everything. Nothing's changed but the bulls. Kelly Altenbomber uses beef master bulls on his commercial beef master, Brangus, and Angus cow herd. He loves beef master for the added weight he gets in his calves at weaning, as well as the great disposition of the cows. The main thing, the reason I went to them is to gentle my calves down, also for to keep the heifers for uh, replacement cows. My beef masters, are, to me, are the best of both worlds. Your mama cows that you keep for the maternal side and to raise calves, along with, if you don't own beef masters, if you're just doing crossbreed, the growth on those bull calves, those steers, are excellent. In today's cattle industry, where the nation's cow herd is being rebuilt, beef master cattle are just as relevant now as ever. Their unquestioned longevity, fertility, and docility team with generations of range-proven hardiness make them a solid economic choice. Stay with us. You're watching The American Rancher. The Beef on Forage Bull Cell has been providing top quality bulls to progressive cattlemen that will add value to their calves. We develop our bulls with the true working rancher in mind. Please join us the third Saturday in October in Brenham, Texas as we offer the top end of over 200 forage developed bulls from the most competitive performance test in the breed. For more information, please visit our website at beefmasterbullsale.com. Performance, pretty, and pedigree. Swing and Bee Ranch has built a strong reputation for raising the right kind of bulls for the commercial cattlemen. Owners Mackie and Norma Jean Bounds understand the importance of performance data and collect carcass results on their yearling bulls and females. They take pride in their practice of DNA verification, genotyping, and feed efficiency testing to ensure the best cattle are sold to you. Call us today and learn more at swingandbeeranch.com. Emmons Ranch of Fairfield, Texas has built their herd with proven, predictable, and profitable Beefmaster cattle backed by 40 years of experience. My focus on our Beefmaster operation is producing cattle with predictability. Our goal at Emmons Ranch is to produce superior seed stock and to produce heavily muscled bulls for the commercial man. Contact Steve and Cindy Emmons at EmmonsBeefmasters.com. LOBBA is one of the oldest satellite associations within the Beefmaster industry, and its membership consists of Beefmaster breeders from throughout Texas and at least 12 other states. 
Check out these outstanding sales coming up from the Live Oak Beefmasters Breeders Association. The satellite hosts numerous events annually, including seminars, field days, three sales per year, and they're a major sponsor in the National E6 Commercial Beefmaster Sale held every spring. For more information, visit them online at lobba.net. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The most scientifically proven way to create efficiency in beef production is utilizing maternal heterosis. Bill Pendergrass is the Executive Vice President for Beefmaster Breeders United and has been working with commercial cattle producers for several years. He knows that the commercial cattleman is looking for efficient and productive cattle and he believes that the Beefmaster breed is the answer. What makes Beefmaster such an important crossbreeding tool? It's retained heterosis. The genetic makeup that we have uh, is leads to 63% retained heterosis. We need mother cows that survive on range and give us a calf every year. We want feedlot gains that are three and a quarter to three and a half pounds a day on a natural ration. No ionophores, no antibiotics, no implants. We need carcasses that are cho low choice, uh, yield grade two and a half to three with a 750 to 800 pound carcass weight. We really like the Beefmaster breed because it brings Boss Indicus influence into the breeding mix, into the, into the program to give us that additional benefit of heterosis from Boss Taurus and Boss Indicus cross. The uh, calves out of these Beefmaster cross females we see a real boost just from the heterosis uh, aspect of it. Good, healthy, strong wieners in the fall is really important. By crossbreeding, gaining the heterosis effect and breeds that complement one another well, we have a finished product that consumer loves, efficient production system throughout the life of the animal, and mama cows that work well on the ranch. At the feedlot level, we could have cattle gaining four and a half pounds a day. Uh, we could also have cattle gaining two and a half pounds a day. We're after three and a quarter. We wanted to convert uh, six pounds of feed to one pound of gain. We can do that and still have cows that work well and still produce meat that's of a high quality for the consumer. The maternal heterosis that Davies refers to adds more to the bottom line than any other single management practice a commercial cattleman can perform. Calf survivability is higher, newborns are more vigorous, have stronger immune systems, and also capture growth advantages. His impressive operation utilizes the Beefmaster breed for the proven heterosis advantage that it offers his breeding program. Davies attributes this heterosis advantage for his good and heavy weaning weight. John McCarthy of Dade City, Florida has been a longtime commercial cattleman that uses Beefmaster bulls on his commercial herd to produce superior females. The key to our operation is the Beefmaster female. She's kind of the, the cow that we, we turn to for our production. Um, she, she's kind of the mainstay of our operation. Our cattle are born after Christmas, the majority of them. There'll be a couple before, but they're all born after Christmas. And we put the bulls with them, usually the first of March, for 60 days. And we'll average somewhere around 80% conception rate in 60 days. So they're somewhere between 12 and 14 months of age when we breed them. And they have to breed to stay in the, in the herd that we keep our heifers out of. They have to breed by 14 months and have us a calf before, t before they're two years old. This spring we sold some 17 year old cows and they had never missed. They calved as a two and never missed until they were 17. The key is the Beefmaster female. They bring more money. They put more dollars in my pocket and that's what counts for me. You're gonna stay in the beef business, they gotta produce and they gotta have you one every 365 days or she needs to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Commercial cattlemen and women across the United States find that adding the extra maternal heterosis that Beefmaster bulls offer to their commercial females is an added benefit 
because the female calves they produce have the needed maternal traits for superior replacement females, while the bull calves have the extra weight needed to be competitive in the current marketplace. Beef Master Breeders United is an association that is committed to the commercial cattlemen. For more information and a look inside how the Beef Master breed offers the best of both worlds, check them out online at beefmasters.org or like them on Facebook. While you're there, check out the American Rancher and like us as well, or you can visit our website. We want to thank all of our generous sponsors for helping bring you this inside look at Beef Master cattle. That's all the time we have today. For the entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.